Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of WRP TV. I'm Gary Reed, your host, and I'm joined today by Lucy McNeil, who's PPC Director here at We Are Polymer. And what we're going to do this week is take you through sort of a screencast on how to set up enhanced conversions in Google Ads and Shopify. And maybe, Lucy, you can just tell us, why would you want to set up enhanced conversions? Sure, yeah. So I th I'm sure it's kind of something everyone's been hearing about a lot um, in the kind of past year or so. But now that kind of consent mode is all in place um, and people are kind of, you know, looking for ways to be able to get more data essentially into their Google Ads accounts to be able to use within their kind of smart bidding um, and for like general reporting as well. It's kind of becoming, um, yeah, ever more kind of essential to get enhanced conversions set up and just make sure that uh, kind of more accurate attribution is kind of in place um, now that we're we're kind of losing out to um, the kind of cookie-less world that um, is becoming within kind of digital marketing. So um, yeah, this is a fairly straightforward and should be hopefully painless way of kind of implementing them through uh, Google Ads um, and Shopify uh, for those it's relevant for. Yeah. And I see you're logged into Google Ads here. So I guess that's where we start the journey, um, set, setting up a conversion in, in Google we Ads. We do indeed. Um, so I guess if you've got uh, an existing Google Ads purchase event, um, you can just use that within the kind of secondary step, which will be within Shopify. But if you're kind of starting out fresh and you only have um, kind of, GA4 goals, for instance, pulling into your AdWords account, you will have to go in and set up a Google Ads conversion goal before you can uh, do the rest of the steps. So I'll just show kind of that initial step and then um, the kind of tracking that goes into Shopify as well. So firstly, yeah, you just want yep. to set up a new conversion goal. Uh, make sure you select the website. Uh, you will have to add in your website domain just so Google can um, kind of scan it and make sure um, the relevant tracking is in place. Um, so just kind of copy and paste in um, your domain um, and hit the scan button. Um, and then you can scroll right down uh, to the section where it says uh, create conversion actions manually. Um, and then just go ahead and select add a conversion action. Um, this video is kind of concentrating on purchase conversions. So um, you want to select the purchase as the goal or action. Um, you can also, if you're kind of setting it up as a bit of a test, just select it as a secondary action so that your bid strategies and the That's kind good. of account isn't going to start optimizing towards it. Um, so initially, that would be yeah. kind of recommended to do for the new conversion goal. And then you want to just go ahead and give it a name um, that's going to be identifiable um, so that you know kind of when it was set up and um, what it's tracking. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of the value section, you want to select this, use different values, and that will be able to be pulled in from the Shopify code that will be added um, on that end, um, but just set your kind of yep. default value to a pound um, or whatever kind of currency is obviously relevant for your account. Um, yeah, make sure um, it's counting kind of every conversion um, and you can amend your kind of conversion windows if needed, um, but these will be generally um, fairly kind of set up. You might want to increase uh, the click through to 90 days just to give it uh, as much time as possible. Um, but yeah, 30 days also works. Um, and then you go ahead and click done. Um, and then you can save and continue that one. Um, and you'll come to the instructions page. Um, and this is where you just want to click on the see event snippet button. Um, and you'll be able to see your conversion event details. So definitely yep. just copy and paste this 
um, section into like a Word document or somewhere where you'll be able to like access that um, when you come to your kind of Shopify setup. Um, but once you've kind of copied that, you can go close. Um, and that's where you then want to move into the Shopify setup um, to get that kind of tracking all set up in the back end. So um, if we shuffle over to there, um, firstly, it is um, important just to double check um, that you've got the actual Google tag um, on your checkout page, because um, without that, it, it obviously won't be able to then um, yep. <laughs> work at all. So. And we're not we're not going into that because that that's a whole different well that that's a day long video probably yeah. just to just to work out how to get the GTM onto your checkout page exactly. but um, yeah we'll assume you've got that but yeah, already it's worth double checking in this checkout section but um, just make sure that that like overall Google tag is implemented there and if not you will be able to find it um, within your Google Ads account as well and just paste it into the checkout additional scripts section. Um, so yeah, for the next step, you then want to go to customer events, um, and you'll be able to, uh, see any that are existing. Um, and then if you click on this add custom pixel, again, you want to just add it, um, as a name, um, that is easily recognizable. Um, and then click add pixel. Um, you'll then come to this page, which is where you want to add in your code, which will also contain the kind of enhanced conversion um, information as well. Um, so it yeah. will be one that kind of needs to be copied and pasted. Um, so yeah, we can kind of share what the template looks like and then it can be used essentially across all of the different accounts you have um, so it's very easy to kind of replicate um, across any accounts this is essentially what it looks like um, so you'll first have your kind of basic google tag um, which can be copied and pasted just make sure obviously that your adwords um, ids are matching to uh, that which is shown within the um, snippet that you copied and pasted originally. So you just want to make sure that that aligns to um, your AdWords ID. Um, and then further down, you want to make sure this aligns to your AdWords ID plus your conversion ID. Um, so just check those two sections against um, your snippet that you copied. Um, and once you're happy with that, um, you hit save um, and then you'll be able to hit connect um, and that will then implement it on your website um, so that you'll then have enhanced conversions kind of set up and you should see that start pulling through um, within AdWords um, once obviously someone comes through to your site and makes a conversion. You can obviously do a test conversion to make sure that it's pulling through um, and you should start to see uh, that kind of start filling out um, within your AdWords account. Um, the other thing, you can then just jump back and hit done within AdWords um, and that will set up. Um, if you want to check the kind of enhanced conversion side, um, it should show within this diagnostics tab, um, you'll get a yep. section for enhanced conversions and it will show you if there are any errors or um, if everything's complete um, and which tag it's relating to within your conversion goals so you can kind of drill down there um, and make sure everything's looking fine for those um, Perfect. just to flag on that though it might take kind of up to 72 hours for a new tag to start showing right. so don't panic if you know, you set something up and it's not pulling through uh, immediately. Uh, just give it a bit of time and then recheck um, in the diagnostics. Yeah. And that code that you pasted in Shopify, that is more than just the code that you copied out of Enhanced Conversions. Yeah. Yeah. So it essentially contains the, um, have I still got it up? Yeah. The original kind of 
Google Ads tag um, that gets implemented. Right. And then it also contains what's needed for enhanced conversions. So you'll notice um, what's a bit different versus that snippet that gets copied from um, yes. AdWords is these additional kind of data sections. So you see it's asking for an email and a phone number um, to match to the yeah. kind of user data layer um, that will be within the site. Um, so those are the kind of additional sections that are added when it comes to enhanced conversions that will then need to be matched Understand. Um, when someone does go through and convert. Fantastic. Thanks for that. I think it's really useful. In actual fact, it's probably um, much easier than, than people suspect, um, especially if you're on Shopify, because it, it's all pretty simple. You can do everything without getting your developers involved um, on that. But yeah, thanks, Lucy. Um, that's all from us this week. Um, if you do need any help with PPC, paid social or Amazon, get in touch. Our email address is hello at wrp.team and we will see you next week. Thanks for watching.